Today was just a little light maintenance day. A couple things that I found on the bus doing the post-trip inspection, just kind of a walk around. Uh, I noticed obviously that uh, axle shaft gasket was leaking. That was the kind of the big priority that was starting to make a mess. Um, so I got that all torn apart and everything. You'll see on the video how I addressed that. And then a um, couple other things. The bus had been trying to tell me something wasn't quite right and I just needed to look into it. Um, I had a problem the last couple weeks five, maybe six times it's popped out of first gear. And I thought, well, it probably just needs an adjustment on the linkage. So I, I needed to address that and look at that. A um, little bit of coolant. I saw a coolant drip on the ground. So uh, that, um, check the rear end fluid, the transmission leak. I think I got that addressed too. So it's just kind of a light maintenance day. Oh, and I wanted to get the Volkswagen thing started because it hadn't been started in months. Um, and I know gas doesn't like to sit around in that thing very long. So it seems like if you let it sit for more than a month, it's always hard to start. So. Um, I try to start every time I come home, but I haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, but it, yeah, you'll see. So anyways, that was today, just light maintenance day, just fixing some issues from a post-trip inspection. And then uh, we'll be heading on the road um, uh, January 2nd uh, for our next trip. All right, I mean, things been sitting out here for a few months. We're gonna see if it'll actually start. Oh. I'm gonna go with the battery's gonna be dead. That's impressive. Crappy old gas in it. Okay, so I got an oil leak coming from here somewhere. This was a gift I got from Lance. Kind of nice. That's a sign of things to come. So these are weird compared to most other modern trucks. I don't know if you guys remember seeing this when we did Sage's bus or not. So the axle has actually got teeth on it there. And then there's like a ring here. And then another plate back behind it. Normally it comes off pretty easy. Maybe I'll get a screwdriver first and try to pop it just a little bit. But you see it has one of those seals in there too, where it keeps the axle oil out of here, but clearly it's not because there is oil there.
looks like a, a preschool game. bunch of places for it to leak because this is the gasket uh, the seal here so it can be leaking on the other side of this you got one side surface two side surface and three side surface four side surface so there's a lot of places it could could have been leaking from so pop this off of here did keep the wheel bearing grease in there and kept the oil out. I'm gonna make sure that's still tight though. Extra little coat around these. Looks like it's about 70 years old.
That's almost my finger. Very important, put the spring back on. that gasket in. That same paper here and I leave it over there. oil on the bottom of this is right there. So I'm just going to try and snug these. down here to here. Looks good though. So I have the same problem that Sage was having. I've had a problem last couple weeks that's been wanting to pop out of first and not go all the way into first. I'll have Kelly go in and put it in first and second. You're going to see this rod is stripped out. So watch as she puts it into first. See that movement there? That's not supposed to happen. And then go to second. First, <laughs> okay, second, well, I know that's in the right spot there. Go back to first again. There's some play in that too. Okay, go back to neutral.
take the phone, go put it into first gear for me. Back to second. Back to first. Is it hitting the column right now or no? Okay, thank you. Good. Gotta listen to the bus when it speaks to you. It's telling me, hey, something ain't right. This is the fuel filter that I use on my transfer pump. My transfer pump's not been working, but this, this is plugged up. I can blow through it one way, but I can't blow through it the other way. So I'm gonna pop it open here. Dropped it right in my toolbox where I didn't want to drop it, but yeah, look at all that sludgy gook. And it's really down in the filter there. Can you see that? So I had a problem with the biological slime in there, and I've been putting the bio treatment in it. And this isn't slimy like it was, but I'm guessing that's the red residue that's left after it was killed but uh put a new fuel filter on i'll keep an eye on it definitely what the problem was though so i cleaned the rim up so i can keep an eye on it make sure it's not leaking i will go ahead and order new gaskets for that but for now that should fix it i went ahead and ordered a pinion seal from luke just in case i need it so i got it with me uh, along with the ring, uh, the seal, new, new uh, seal saver ring. Um, I climbed under there, checked the differential fluid. It's, it's perfectly full, so it hasn't lost enough to make a notice. I just barely stick my pinky in there, just not even that first little knuckle thing, and uh, it's halfway in, so it's real close to the top. Um, transmission, hopefully that little leak that caused that is fixed. Uh, just snugged up a couple things, and... That gear shift thing with it popping out of gear, um, that was nice, nice little find there just by looking into that. I saw a couple drips of coolant on the ground and I was about a gallon low on coolant, um, which these severe temperature swings, I just have regular hose clamps on here. Like see right, yeah, that, that one needs to be tightened up. Actually probably needs a new clamp, it needs a constant torque clamp on really what it needs. When they get really tweaked sideways like that, they're pretty tight and ready to strip out. But uh, we'll see what I got.